touching one of my previous points of retiring at the top, a boxer you fought um, a good number of years ago now, um, retired at the top. Some say it was a bit too early. Some say it was the right time. Uh, you mean... Uh... Ooh, sorry, I didn't understand. Who you mean? Like, sorry, um, on, so Andre Ward. Um, Andre Ward. Yeah, do you think he retired um, too early or at the right time? No, I think so. Uh, he retired at the right time because he he understand that uh, he didn't won, did, didn't win my uh, my uh, our fights. You know, first fight he didn't win, and second fight he didn't win. Uh, clearly, you know, it was a crazy uh, stoppage by low blow, like it's crazy, was you know, and I didn't agree with this with this uh, uh, champion. Yeah, so 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 you so you feel as if you were hard done by by the referee and the judges over the two fights. Yes, the referee was on his uh, on his uh, side. So, how too. how do you think we change this going forward? Is there a way to change this? Get better judges in place? Maybe get um, video replays? How do you think this can improve? Listen, I, I don't want like uh, thinking about this. It's already passed. So I already forgot about this uh, this fight. Yeah. No any, of course, no uh, any reason to, to remember. Of course, I of course I, I only brought it up obviously because the one sixteen one twelve judge was obviously yes. um, no no one saw the fight that in that um, distance. Um, that's yes. why I brought it up how we can improve. But moving on, uh, you fought in Riyadh um, not long ago earlier on this year. Um, what was your yeah, thoughts yeah, on last May? Yeah, what was your thoughts on um, fighting in Riyadh and how Riyadh have? Do you think they've saved boxing? I was very happy to be back in the ring. You know, and to me doesn't doesn't matter where it's uh, it's gonna be uh, any place in 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 the world. But uh, I was the first time in Riyadh and I was happy fight fight there and. Uh, I wanted uh, like uh, to show the great fight, but long uh, rest of the boxing uh, because, like, yes, uh, I had a long rest of the of the boxing, and yeah. it's uh, made made a problem for me, you know, because like last fight I I fought Manila 2019, then I fought uh, uh, May. 2022nd and then I fought uh, May 2024. Big, yeah. big, big uh, layoff between yeah. fights and like, and the uh, last fight I, I fought like simple guy, uh, Safar, uh, and like in the, even the uh, day of the fight, I was like a nervous, like the first time I came in the ring. I don't know what happened to me, but I was like nervous. Like usually, I sleeping. Uh, I was sleeping a uh, couple hours before uh, exit from hotel to the arena. But last fight, I couldn't. You know, I just like lay lay down, like, I lay uh, down on the bed like three hours, like uh, turn from the right side to the left side. I couldn't sleep and go to the to the arena and came to the ring empty of energy. But wow. what happened is happening, you know. If uh, right now it's going to be fight again, like, like in three, four months, I'm ready to fight. If not, I'm going to stop. Yeah. So so has that happened before? Why, why was he, has that happened before in your career where you've been disruptive? No, it was the first time. First time. This big, big pause. I fought Canelo, then the two more, two, two, then more years was a pause, and I fought like uh, Erwell Kulik, and then 
two years again uh, pausa mm-hmm. and apart uh, uh, safar it's like yeah right now it's gonna be fight again if uh fight will be like closer next six months if not fight next six months i'm gonna stop Okay, and are you are you with any? Have you been in talks with any promotion companies or anything to set up a fight? Right now, uh, still waiting in the update. Uh, I I I spoke with my manager spoke with uh, Robin Safar for the match, and they are they will agree for the match, and the who promised me the fight. Uh, against um, Robin Safar and then right now nothing happened I don't know when it came to the so they, they lost they lost connection I don't know nobody nobody uh, called me nobody, you know, nobody calls you know just like uh, very strange and, and, uh, situation is it is it for the love of the sport now Sergey, or is it just is it is it just to cash out Make some more money. Yes, yes, but right now I don't have a world title, and nobody wants to fight me. You know, just uh, just because uh, no money, no title. You know, <laughs> and, <laughs> a li- and everybody a, like, and everybody's scared. Everybody's a, li- scared. A, a little bit of both. Um, h- how about um. Have you looked to do an exhibition with an ex-fighter? That's where the money the money's at at the moment. <laughs> an exhibition. We've got someone like Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, even though I don't really agree with it. Listen, uh, I'm ready to do any fights. You know, just uh, want to be stay active. You know, I just uh, I can repeat if next uh, six months of fights, that's it enough. It's uh, because it's a uh, long, uh, uh, long pauses. Yeah, between the fights, it's no good. It's very no good. No problem. And if you if you do, then stop boxing. Um, oh. what what have you got planned? Have you got anything planned in particular? Uh, no, I don't drink. Uh, no tequila, nothing. No tequila. Just uh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend more time with my family, with my kids, and uh, stay active, uh, enjoy enjoy my life. Perfect, know? perfect, and and you deserve it. You've had a good career, um, so you, you you deserve to to chill out with your family and enjoy enjoy your life now. But Sergey, thank you very much. Thank you um, for thank your you. time you. and enjoy your uh, the rest of your holiday. And also your flight back to uh, Tashkent. Thank you. Cheers, brother. Take care. Thank you. Yeah, good luck. Bye-bye.